Shadada. Lift your hands. Anybody ready for something? Else? Lord, I'm hungry for revival. Lord, I'm hungry for revival, for your glory, for fresh fire. Anybody ready? Mahasha, open your mouth and just and just let the Lord know you're hungry. Lord, I'm hungry for revival. Just open your mouth, people, and get set to receive something from God today. Get set. Get set today.
Jesus. One, two, three. You scream, I receive. That's right. And there will be eruptions everywhere. Unclean spirits will check out. Afflictions will disappear. Chains will be broken. Or anything that my father has not planted in your life shall be dismantled. And above all, fresh graces, fresh mantles, fresh releases will come upon you. Are you ready? Lift your hands. Father, let mount the mantles fall. Let fresh fire fall. Let the oil draw. Let the hand of the Lord be released. In the name of Jesus, one. Descend over us tonight. Father, we ask that your fire will consume everything lukewarm in our midst tonight. Let nothing that is feeble survive, Lord, in this place of intercession tonight. A fire devoured before them and behind them, a flame burneth. Oh Lord, we ask, oh Lord, that you descend mightily in our midst tonight. In the name of Jesus. And we ask, Lord, you set your servant on fire for this session, Lord. In Jesus. Jesus mighty name we pray lift up your voice giving praise for prayers answer tonight father we thank you we appreciate you lord be thou glorified in Jesus mighty name we pray please kindly wake someone up a text will not suffice so ensure they are up and God bless you let's receive the praise team as they take us further in this segment Somebody
Father, you will lead them. 
Hallelujah. Somebody believe God is good. Give him a hand clap wherever you are across the world. This is commanding the day midnight prayer. Please ensure that someone is connected tonight. You may be seated, please, wherever you are. Invite someone, pick up your phones, and put it across, across a call to them, and let them be part of what God is set to do. Tonight, we are expecting the fire of God to consume all that is not approved of God from this altar in the name of Jesus. We'll make progress in this segment as we take a couple of testimonies. And our first testimony is from Sister Favor from the United Kingdom, Bradford. She said, good morning, commanding the day midnight prayer family. I want to thank God for the deliverance he gave me through God's servant. He gave a word in one of the nights that made me teary, he said. There is someone that got beaten by a dog in the dream and is watching and putting on a maroon dress. That was me. I got beaten by a dog in the dream and I was behaving like someone who was convulsing already. Immediately I got up, I prayed about the dream and I was supposed to go for an interview scheduled the same day. When I got there, the interview was canceled and rescheduled. I believe the hand of God has reached me today. And I'm delivered because I prayed and told God to mention my case today, and God did. I'm in awe how God works. Praise the Lord. God bless you, Dr. Dr. Pastor, sir, for accepting the call. We'll have a picture of the same in her maroon dress there. Let me clap and a ladder shout of praise. Sister Lillian from Douala in Cameroon. Praise God. I came across the Midnight Prayers on Dunamis TV and started following since 28th of March, 2024. This is my miracle. I couldn't move my right hand due to pains to an extent that I could not even cook. Only my daughter does the cooking for my husband. People of God, as I followed this program faithfully, God did a miracle. The man of God, Senior Pastor Dr. Paul Enenche, by God's Spirit, mentioned my case in one of the nights that there is someone with pain in the hand. God took the pain away. Hallelujah! My husband and I have already prepared to go to the hospital the following day to see a neurologist, but God reversed the plan to his glory. I can now move my hands well and cook and do hard work. To God be all the glory. Amen. May God continue to lift up his servant, Dr. Paul and Nature, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen and amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Above only, that's my place. First, I've come to return all glory to God that turned my shame to fame. In January and February 2024, during the Command of Demina prayer, Pastor Paul Enenche kept praying for professionals like nurses, trusting God for a license to practice. I've been writing an, exam, an English exam for the past four years in the United Kingdom to be able to practice as a nurse in the UK. But all my efforts proved abortive. To the glory of God, I wrote my last exams on the 9th of March, and the result came out last week with the required band scores. I needed to get registered as a nurse in the UK. I can't thank this God enough for what he has done for me. I pray for good success in my OSCE next month. Secondly, I have a daughter of three years plus that had bad breath. No matter how I brushed her mouth, it would still smell. I always say a big amen anytime pastor prays about halitosis. To the glory of God, on Monday the 1st of April, I noticed that her mouth doesn't smell again. Wow. 
until eternity. I will deliberately smell her mouth anytime she wakes up in the morning and her breath is as fresh as that of someone who just brushed. It is working on this prayer altar. God bless all the crew members. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Mrs. Esther from Ibadan in Oyo State. She said, good morning, sir and ma. I want to appreciate God for healing me of a wound on my ring finger. I just woke up one morning to see this wound on my ring finger, which refused to heal and was getting worse each passing day. I have not worn my wedding ring since um, the wound started. A family friend here in Ibadan introduced us to the Commander Day Midnight Prayer on the 22nd of January, 2024. I was dazed and amazed when Pastor mentioned my case during the Commander Day Midnight Prayer of 28th stroke 29th of January, 2024. Immediately, the wound dried up and healed instantly. Hallelujah! The picture of the healed wound is herein attached. Glory to God in the highest. God bless you, pastors, Paul and Becky and Nature, for making yourselves available to be used of God and, to, and, and for being a blessing to your generation. We'll have a picture and declaration attached. It's a dried wound there. Wow. Wow. On the finger. Incredible. Mr. Max, on your body, you woke up and you saw it on your finger, the last to the ring finger on this side, and then the and, and then the little finger. I declare today, wherever that mark came from, it returns back to senders. I declare it closed up now in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand on your feet and let us celebrate God on this fire night. Let's go, 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 go. serve. It's amazing what God is doing. Please give him another clap and a shout of praise and you may be comfortably seated. We'll be taking a few more testimonies. Please do well to wake somebody up, your neighbor, your friend, your loved one, your brother, your sister. Let them be part of what God is doing in our midst. Praise the Lord. Let's go. Mrs. A.A. from the United Kingdom Good evening, Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer crew. She wants to thank God for this wonderful prayer platform. In March, Senior Pastor declared that missing documents will be found, and God answered her prayers. She completed her master's in 2022, and her certificate was posted to her home address in Nigeria. And for one year, her certificate was missing on transit. She kept sending emails to her school and tracking the delivery online, but there was no positive update regarding this. On the 22nd of March, after the night prayer, 
she received an email that her certificate had been returned to the school. In 48 hours, she received her certificate. Her joy has been restored. Glory be to God. Also, she wants to thank God for setting her prayer life and that of her family on fire again through this prayer altar. Even her one-year-old son is not left out in this prayer revival. Amazing. She gives God all the glory. May God continue to bless you all. The picture is attached. That's the picture of the certificate, Masters of Law in International Business Law. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a praise. What a faithful God. Mr. Amechi C.S. says, Good evening to all the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer crew. She has, he has returned to give glory to God for his supernatural touch upon her. She has been experiencing excruciating pains on her left shoulder for more than 10 years now. On the 1st of April, 2024, Senior Pastor, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche, prophetically prayed for someone experiencing pain within the knee region and for the leading of the holy ghost mention, and by the leading of the holy ghost mentioned the case of someone also experiencing pain in the shoulder region she claimed it because it was her case it was his case i beg your pardon since that day he no longer experiences the pain again he can now do the things he couldn't do before with his left shoulder he wants to thank his sister in the lord mrs michel for connecting him to this platform God bless his servant, Dr. Paul Enenche. The oil of God on your life and ministry will never run dry. He wants to return. He will return for more testimonies of healing in Jesus' name. Declaration is attached. There's someone to join that has what they call subluxation. It's a medical word, and this and this is more like a, a, a dislocation that is not complete, it's partial. But there is very, very, very terrible pain. Very terrible pain in that joint. I declare today, as you sleep overnight, you wake up. That joint is relocated. It is, it is, it is one of the joints of the leg. I command it relocated, 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 relocated back to normal without any authority procedure relocated the pain is gone in the name of jesus christ and everyone who is watching maybe yours is the shoulder i command it return back right now the clavicle of somebody i command it return back right now you couldn't do this before do it right now in the name of jesus wow hallelujah all right give the lord a praise everyone in need of such a touch of god receive it now in jesus name amen Israel from Ontario in Canada says, praise the Lord. He has seen God here in the commanding the day, uh, midnight prayers. He's deeply rooted here. God has been sending him different words. But on the 30th of March, 2024, in the commanding the day, midnight prayer, God through his servant, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche, made a decree that God showed him open job vacancies that someone is stepping into the month of april with celebrations what you are expecting is happening within that junction of march and april thousands are getting jobs as the second quarter is starting you are stepping into a new job a new role a, 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 and higher in your assignment within seven days for eight months since he came to he went to canada he has not gotten a job he even decided to apply for a cleaner job where he was rejected Ele? <sighs> cleaner job rejected mm. However, a dream job which was very much, which was way more befitting, reasonable, and honorable that he applied for in January, February, and March that was declined could not, could not battle with God's word that came that day. He applied for the same job again. Ola, ola. 
<laughs> after several rounds of exams, he was invited for an interview. And when he went in for the interview, they said the role he applied for was for a bilingual position. But the interviewer told him that he would move him to another role that suited him better and interviewed him for that. Before he got home, he got the job. To be honest, he wasn't so fluent during the interview, but his God decided to break protocols and give him the job. May the oil and the grace of God always remain fresh in this altar in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Declaration Amen. attached. He said that that someone is stepping into the month of April with celebration. You are celebrating your way into the month of April because, because what you have been expecting is just happening between the junction of March and April. And within that first week, I declare Leperetes, I see hundreds and thousands of people getting their job later and employment later in the name as the second quarter is starting. You are stepping into a new office. You are stepping with a new into a new employment. You are stepping into a new role. Stepping higher in your assignment. Hey! That word is for somebody else today in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall manifest in your life speedily in Jesus' name. Let's take a look at the last testimony. For this segment. For this segment, yes, sir. <laughs> um, testimony from NN from Portacot says, Good day, commanding the day, midnight prayer crew. Uh, he's here to return all the glory to our God. Brethren, his own Ola, 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 Ola testimony has come home. It all started in February 2024. He's not too sure of the particular night. Just while the senior pastor, Dr. Paul Enenche, was taking the testimonies, he just heard the Lord. He just told the Lord, Father, I used to hear people say, let the pastor mention their case. I've never said it before, but if it, this truly works, I want the pastor to mention my own case. Within that period, brothers and sisters, he was having serious pains anytime he wanted to urinate. The doctors called it UTI. He treated UTI every year. He means every year, every year it will reoccur. The doctor had already prescribed the drugs he would buy, but he didn't buy them immediately. Brethren, the night he told God to mention his case, just five minutes after he prayed that prayer, he heard the senior pastor saying, Painful urination, urinary tract infection, that is UTI, is being healed now. He shouted, Jesus, Amen. He always sleeps with water by his bedside. He drank some immediately so that he'll be pressed fast. Brethren, God is here. Do you know that from that night till eternity, he did, he, he did, he did without the drug and no more pain so... He urinates freely. Secondly, to crown the testimony, another night, as the man of God was reading the testimonies again, he stopped and said, that urinary incontinence stops now. He shouted, Amen. Brethren, since that night, up till today, he's typing this testimony. Anytime he feels like urinating, it doesn't drop out again before he gets to the restroom. This is God, oh! Commanding the day midnight prayer walk, so... Thank you, Jesus. He's coming back for mega testimony soon. Praise the Lord. Go ahead and let us celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lord of Lords and the King of King of Kings. Everything, 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 everything.
Somebody give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. Clap your hands, all ye people. Shout to the Lord with a voice of triumph. Congratulate everybody here on this platform tonight. Congratulate those of you in London, England. In a few hours, we shall be seeing you by God's grace. And um, England shall be covered with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the seas. Job chapter 10, verse 12. He said, Thou hast granted me life and favor, and thy visitation has preserved my spirit. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for your goodness, for your goodness and, mercies. and mercies. Thank you, thank you for, the for the gift of life and preservation. Be glorified, 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 oh Lord, 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 in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father thank, you thank you for your goodness, your goodness and mercies. And mercies. Thank, you thank you for the gift for the of life of and preservation. And preservation. Be, glorified, Be glorified, oh Lord, Lord in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Go ahead, open your mouth and pray. <laughs> In Jesus precious name the Lord has heard and answered us in Jesus name Psalm 110 verse 130 it says the entrance of thy words giveth light he giveth understanding unto the simple Psalm 107 and in verse 20 he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from, our, from their destructions that was our experience tonight the word of God came so mightily and lives and destinies were touched would you lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for your precious, your precious word, word to us, us in the midweek service, service that brought light. light. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord for your sent word that brought healing and, brought healing and, deliverance. and deliverance. Be glorified, be glorified. oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go on ahead and pray. Father, thank you for your precious word to us in the midweek service that brought light. Thank you for your sent word that brought healing and deliverance. Be glorified, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 4, all the way to verse 5. Everybody read it together with me. One to go. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Every mountain shall be collapsed. Amen. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father we bring down we bring every enemy, enemy structure, structure, installation, or infrastructure standing, standing in the way of your plan, your purpose, your agenda, or your acts in our midst, in my life. We decree their collapse now in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, open your mouth and pray. Father, we bring down every enemy structure, installation, or infrastructure standing in the way of your plan, in the way of your purpose, in the way of your agenda, in the way of your acts in our midst, in my life. We decree their collapse in the name of Jesus. Every enemy structure, every enemy structure, every enemy installation, 
every enemy infrastructure standing in the way of your plan, in the way of your purpose, in the way of your agenda for my life, in the way of your acts in the United Kingdom, in the way of this journey. We decree they are collapsed in the name of Jesus. They are collapsed in the name of Jesus. Jesus, precious name, amen. the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Shout the Lord and say, Amen. amen. Their structures are collapsed. Amen. John chapter 17, verse 18. The Bible said, that, As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. Luke chapter 10 and in verse 16, it says, He that heareth you, heareth me. He that despiseth you, despiseth me. Today, when you open your mouth to speak, whether at a place of prayer or in declaration, the devil will hear the voice of the master in your voice. If you are saying amen, say louder, amen. amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father I, step I step into today as a representative of the master. I compel the subjection, the submission of all contrary forces and voices of the day. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, I step into today as a representative of the Master and I compel the submission of all contrary forces and voices of the day. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray. In Jesus precious name, the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Mark chapter 16 and in verse 20, the Bible said, and they went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord walking with them, confirming the word with signs following. Somebody say a loud amen. amen. Who is going, how many of us are going into today with signs and wonders? Say, say after me, say, Father, Father I, declare I declare this new day, this new day as, my day as my day of divine, of divine manifestation, manifestation with the tangible, tangible presence, presence of, God of God in miracles, miracles signs, signs, and wonders. wonders. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father I, declare I declare this new day, this new day as my day of divine manifestation with the tangible presence of God in miracles, signs, and wonders. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, pray. Father, I declare this new day as my day of divine manifestation with the tangible presence of God in miracles, signs, and wonders. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I declare. In Jesus precious name, the Lord heard and answered us, shout the Lord and say amen. In 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9 and 10, the Bible said, but as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. What God has prepared for you today, no devil shall stop you. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father I take full delivery, take full delivery of, all of all that you have prepared, you prepared for, me for me by the Spirit, by the Spirit in, this in this new day. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father I take full delivery, take full delivery of, all of all that you have prepared, you prepared for, me for me by the Spirit, by the Spirit in this new day. This new oh Lord, day. in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Mahashada. Shut up, 
In Jesus precious name the Lord heard and answered us who believe that shall the Lord say amen John chapter 14 and in verse 13 he said and whosoever whatsoever you shall ask in my name that will I do that the father may be glorified in the son tonight God shall be glorified with your life amen. see after me say father, father we, ask we ask that you be glorified, be glorified today, today by granting grant our, our petition in the name of your son of your Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Again, Father, Father we, ask we ask that you be glorified, be glorified today, today by granting our petition in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go on ahead and pray. In Jesus precious name amen. somebody say louder amen. amen jeremiah chapter 1 and in verse 10 the bible said see i have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out to pull down to destroy and to throw down to build and to plant tonight is catabolic reaction against the forces of darkness Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that every root, every root we, ask we ask that you root out you root and destroy, and destroy every, planting every planting of the wicked, of the wicked as, well as well as their wickedness wicked. in this new day. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, say, Father, we root out and destroy every planting of the wicked as well as their wickedness in this new day. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, go ahead, lift your voice and pray. Jesus, precious name. Our God is a consuming fire. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 24. The Bible says, For the Lord thy God is a consuming fire, even a jealous God. The consuming fire shall consume the devil and his agents now. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we release your judgment of fire on every enemy altar of opposition resistance confrontation counter action surprise attack evil report destruction or death erected against everyone connected and related to this altar we declare them roasted by fire oh lord in the name of jesus say father we release your judgment of fire on every enemy altar of opposition resistance Confrontation, counteraction, surprise attacks, evil report, destruction, or death erected against everyone connected and related to this altar. We declare them roasted by fire, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray.
in Jesus precious name the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus name Lamentation chapter 1 and in verse 13a from above has he sent fire into my bones and he prevailed against them there is fire entering your bones tonight Amen. that will cause you to prevail against the forces of darkness Amen. against the forces of hell Amen. somebody shout the loudest amen. amen no wonder i said in joel chapter 20 in verse 3 say fire devoured before them and behind them a flame burned. the land is as the garden of eden before them and behind them a desolate wilderness yeah and nothing shall escape them lift your voice and say fire, fire. say father, father. I, ask I ask that you send, that you send your, fire your fire from my bowl into my bones and let it prevail against every enemy of my life and destiny today lord in the name of jesus again father i ask that you send your fire from above into my bones and let it prevail against every enemy of my life and destiny oh lord in the name of jesus go ahead open your mouth and pray Jesus, precious name, fresh fire is your portion tonight, in the name of Jesus. Acts chapter 10 verse 38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. We are asking for an unprecedented move of God in the United Kingdom. Save the lost, heal the sick, deliver the oppressed, give breakthrough to the stranded and frustrated, transform lives and revive the sins. Lift your voice and say, Father. Father. Louder, say, Father. Father. We, ask we ask for an unprecedented, unprecedented move, move of, your spirit of your spirit in the United, in Kingdom, the United Kingdom, this weekend, this weekend for, the for the salvation of souls, of souls healing, healing of bodies, bodies deliverance, deliverance for the captives, the captives. Breakthrough, breakthrough for the frustrated, the frustrated transformation, transformation of, life of life and revival, and revival for the sins. Oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father we, ask we ask for an unprecedented move, move of your spirit, of your spirit in, the UK, in the UK this weekend. For the, for the salvation of souls, of souls healing, healing of bodies, of bodies deliverance, deliverance for the captives, breakthrough, breakthrough for the frustrated, frustrated transfer, transformation of lives, of lives and revival, and revival for the saints. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, open your mouth and pray. In Jesus precious name the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus name do you believe that at all give the Lord a big clap of hand and say father thank you for answered prayers be glorified oh Lord in the name of Jesus say father we thank you for answered prayers be glorified in the name of Jesus open your mouth pray for a minute In Jesus precious name give the Lord a praise let's celebrate let's celebrate one minute let's go let's go
Savior, Savior, Savior. You are mighty, mighty. Hey! You are mighty, 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 mighty. clap and a shout of praise. Please be seated in the presence of the Lord. Wake up your friends, wake up your loved ones, and let them know that this will be having personal supplications. But before then, let's go ahead with the testimonies. Mrs. DK, all the way from Libya. Good evening, family. I'm a Nigerian citizen based in Libya, working as a nurse in a Libyan hospital. I've come to return all the glory to God alone, and I thank God for the glorious movement. This glorious movement. I joined the commanded day in prayer on the 9th of March 2024 through a sister's WhatsApp status. Please paste this on your WhatsApp status. It can help somebody. And since then, I haven't missed a day and since then, my prayer life has grown. My enemy has been battling since 2017 with pain and hurts like fire at the left side of my body from the armpit to the waist. Also, I've always felt something like a rolling ball at the lower left side of my abdomen. I've done several ultrasound and nothing could be found. I also did blood tests, liver function tests and all of that. Blood sugar all came out normal. Although with all those pains and hurts, I still did my daily activities, but I am not comfortable with it. And sometimes the pains and hurts get worse. My first healing and deliverance service was the 19th of March, 2024. I was so amazed. I also joined the communion service the following day. Then I saw the raw, miraculous hand of God in the life of a lady who was healed with SC anemia, pain, hemoglobin SC, standing on the altar by herself, giving testimony that she could not feel the pain anymore. Then I got angry in the Holy Ghost and I gave myself a hard slap on the left side of my abdomen. And I said, that's like Smith Wiggles one. I want to be free from this pain and hurt from today. Family, since then the lower rolling ball sensation disappeared. Also the pain and hurt returned to hell. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you, Sanma. God bless you, media and the crew of the commanded day midnight prayer. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Mrs. DK from Libya. Mrs. EC from Abuja. Above all, that's my place. I want to return all glory to God Almighty who never forgets his own. My husband left the country last year, May, and since he left, it has been from one challenge to another. We even had to send money to him from here, money from Nigeria to feed and pay house rent monthly. Everything just turned upside down within months in our family. I prayed and fasted, but nothing happened. I've been con connecting to the midnight prayer since it's comm it, it commenced, hoping that one day God will put our word in the mouth of his servant, Dr. Paul Enenche. Hey, on the 27th slash 28th of January, my husband's case was mentioned. You traveled outside the country, but it looks like, as if people here are better than you. The family you left behind are needing to send you money. Wow. In the name of Jesus, that reproach is broken. I shouted aloud, amen. I recorded the video and sent it to my husband. That same day, 28th January 2024, my husband received a text that he should just dress well and come for an interview. Hey! Immediately after the interview, an offer later was given to him to resume work on the 1st of February 2024 with accommodation and transportation. Hey! Jesus, lover of my soul, I can't thank you enough. God bless you, Sanma, and all the commanded them in our prayer team. Thank you. Abba! More testimonies loading, declaration attached. Give the Lord a shout of praise. In the name of Jesus, you traveled out of the country, and, and now you, you, it looks like those who are in, in, in the country are better than you. You, you. The family you left here, they are faring more. They are even needing to send money to you outside the country. Oh. In the name of Jesus, that reproach is broken. The same day you got a job, 
Did the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. This thing works like fire. Let's go to the next testimony. And this is China Gorum from Singapore. From Singapore. Hola, 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 hola. Good mornings. Commanded Amy Night Prayer family. My wife introduced me to this powerful prayer altar. God bless you, my love. <laughs> I was diagnosed with type C, type CD, 30 T cell lymphoma. Wow. The command the day me that prayer starts by 6 30 a.m. over here. So it's our morning devotion prayer. And we hardly miss it. I'm sure that our media will like clearly identify the various times for the various people so, so they can know their time. It's their morning devotion prayer. We came to every declaration that has to do with lymphoma and bone marrow disorders. So after my third cycle, we did PET scan. And the doctor said that my whole body is cleared. But he sees something, so he had to do a bone marrow biopsy. The result came out and the doctor said, I still have cancer. That the treatment is not working. That you have to change the treatment to another stronger chemotherapy. With anger, my wife said to me, we are going to Nigeria and immediately I accepted. We are in church on the 25th of February. And after three days at the Glory Dome, the doctor called us and said that he, he ran another test with some lymphoma specialists and they ruled out cancer. Hey, we also share the testimony of the healing and deliverance service in Dunamis. So on coming back to Singapore, I shifted the test because my birthday was closed. And I wanted a birthday gift from God, which he gave me. The doctor said, you look well and your blood work is fine. So we are going to stop the chemo and watch you by rescheduling another test for you just to monitor you. I'm so grateful that God came through for me. God has done it for me. And he will do it for so many people in need of his presence. Amen. Picture attached. Right. Picture attached. Summary of the findings is no genomic alterations of clinical actionability were identified in this patient's sample. The report was validated and generated to the laboratory information system. Incredible God, incredible God, who has done this. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Cleared of lymphoma. Hallelujah. Mr. and Mrs. D. Ebenezer Pehe from Dunamis, Liberia. Liberia. Good evening, Commander Damien, I prayer crew. We got married on the 21st of November, 2015. And since then, we have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. We haven't experienced any form of pregnancy since marriage. We have been to several hospitals, including National Hospital, John F. Kennedy Memorial Hospital, the Elwa. Oh, really? The Elwa Hospital. That looks to me like... Um, Lester Sombra's Hospital, the Liberty Hospital, and the Jordan River Clinic to find solution to our problems, but all to no avail. Our situation remained for nine solid years. Not until we decided to be committed to command the day night prayers because of the drastic testimonies we have heard so far. We started on the 4th of February 2024 and bam! On the 6th of February 2024, our word came. Ola, ola, ola. Dr. Paul and Angel says, someone is suffering from low sperm count, but that sperm count has been corrected. And also a woman, you are pregnant now without your notice. Go and check it and you will discover that you are pregnant. We say the amen. Allah, Allah, Allah. On the 4th of March, 2024, approximately four exact weeks after joining this altar, my wife was confirmed four weeks pregnant. We have come, hey, to return all the glory to God, amen. More grace and man and the entire commander day crew. God bless you. Picture and declaration attached. All right, Mr. and Mrs. Gray testified in church. Congratulations. Go ahead. As a spermia, low sperm count that is a current or a potential attack on your fruitfulness and fruit of the womb. Today is the last. You go back to the laboratory and check it to be confirmed that you are healed. People that say, woman trusting God for the fruit of the womb, already go and check yourself because you have taken it without your notice. 
you have you are, you are already taken in without your notice check yourself immediately and you will confirm that your pregnancy already happened hey and everyone trusting god for the fruit of the womb that your barrenness is broken go forth and bring forth your children in jesus name give the lord a big clap and a shout of praise hallelujah give the lord a big a big clap tonight we are going to just go to the clip straight and after that we'll celebrate and then go into personal supplications go ahead and give us the clips my command in the evening evening prayer at last all over the world timothy ojimojo obadu is my name from kogi state i have come to return all the glory to god of this commission first and foremost how to appreciate god over the life of our father dr pastor paul enesh and mrs becky paul enesh for the kind of ways on this exalted daughter. Earlier this year, January, I was invited by a friend of mine to join Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer. After I joined the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer, God has been so faithful. God has shown mercy upon my life. Less than a week that I joined the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer, then God was locating me through his servant, Dr. Pastor Paul Enesha, on the 25th of January which you mentioned my name, somebody with OGPA. And he declared that every generational cause over your life from your family is broken. And I shouted in louder than men. Brethren, God has been so faithful. I have seen God mercy upon my life since ever that day till the moment. And secondly, I want to appreciate God Almighty for this exalted altar. It has changed my life from glory to glory. Well, before I joined this Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer, I know where I was in my spirituality, in my prayer life, and I know where I am now. God has transformed me. God has changed my life. I know He's not done with me yet. He has not finished with me yet. And I know He will do more. Hallelujah. In Jesus, mighty name. Above only, that is my place. Good afternoon to my wonderful Commanding Day Midnight Prayer family globally. My name is Sune Tsewa. I'm doing this video from Kaduna State. I got connected to Commanding Day Midnight Prayer in November 2023. And since then, my life has never remained the same. Before I joined this wonderful prayer platform, I cannot boast or praying for 30 minutes. But now my prayer life has improved, even though I'm feeling sleepy. But as soon as it is 11.30, strength comes from above, and I stand up and connect very grateful to God for this real privilege he has granted unto me to be a partaker of this wonderful prayer platform and a recipient of uh, his blessing through this command to command him in a prayer. Through this prayer platform, God has arrested couple has attacked in my life. And those have shared the links to them also testify of God's visitation in their lives, which has turned their lives around for good. I want to thank God for the life of Senior Pastor Paul in Ninja and his family and ask that. I ask and pray that God continue to strengthen and increase him as he continues to walk in his brain yard. Thank you all and God bless you. My name is Odo Nabike. From Libya, I want to thank God because I'm a Dynamite. Before I join Command Day Midnight Prayer, I can't pray for three to five minutes and I don't believe in tithes. But by the God of Command Day Midnight Prayer, I can speak in tongues for hours and sending my tithe. Hallelujah! Now, and sharing the link with my loved ones and sharing the good news with my friends here in Oye Company in Libya because we don't have church around us here. And I'm also believing God of our Father in the Lord, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche, and our sweet over happiness mom in the Lord to pass the test I'm doing in the company. God bless everybody and thank God for commanding them in that prayer. Amen. Good evening, everyone. My name is Dunami Opawacho. I am here to testify how God. Help me because I joined the command this day. I stopped bed working. Since my mommy helped me to join the command this day, I stopped bed working. I come to 
I'm good. Well, I come to tell God all the glory. The God of our Father, Dr. Paul and Nature, is not be only a doctor in Jesus' name. Hey! My name is uh, Sister Faber. My name is Hi Silas. My name is Faber Valami from Medigree Bono State. My name is Rita Kimbichewe. My prayer life has been on fire every day. My prayer life has changed. I indeed increased my prayer life. The midnight prayers has really blessed my life. And I used to struggle um, waking up at night and praying. And even up to the fact that um, I didn't even know what to pray about anymore. But since joining, um, the prayers are there. And it's also word based as well. So you're learning about the word of God, the scriptures colliding with my spirit. And, you know, I don't easily sleep early like that again because I'll know, okay, I want to join. I'll tell myself, okay, I must join the prayer tonight. I must join the prayer tonight. And because of me, you know, my mom has joined, my sisters, my, even my entire family, they are all praying together. I am a praying machine. Prayer altar has become an oxygen to me. Just like life depends on oxygen, then my life now is anchored on this commanded day midnight prayer hour. Stand up on your feet, people, and let's celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Concentrated. That that last clip was like concentrated sulfuric acid. Celebrate. <laughs> Are you excited here tonight? Hey! Go before the Lord and let's praise Him, let's honor Him, let's adore Him for 30 seconds and then personal supplicate for the next one minute and then we shall. Mahoshato Kolakane.
in the name of Jesus. Be upstanding and just give him the praise. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let the fire from the throat, from the throat, from the throat. Let it flow. 
let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let the fire from. Let it flow. Lift up your hands everywhere you are. The fire is flowing right now. The fire is flowing right now. And taking authority. The spirit of backwardness. The spirit of backwardness. The spirit of backwardness. The spirit of backwardness. Going back to try to write exam that you have written and attempted of 20 something 30 years ago 10 15 years ago today i declare that agenda of the devil is arrested in the name of jesus somebody with a situation of whitlow i command that affliction arrested right now in the name of jesus a certificate a document is missing i declare it recovered right now in the name of jesus a burning pain at the back of the spine i command that pain healed right now in the name of jesus somebody on the right track before that got caught up with the spirit of heresy the spirit of error i command that yoke broken right now that spirit of the antichrist the spirit of heresy the spirit of error is broken and someone is connected and watching a loved one who is just derailed by the devil into heresy into false doctrine almost at the brink of madness i take authority over that devil your tenor expires in the name of of jesus somebody is receiving restoration of spiritual gifts of hearing and seeing you saw clearly in the night you saw clearly and heard clearly all of a sudden the gift disappeared you can hear nothing you can see nothing i take authority over that satanic agenda is arrested right now in the name of jesus receive the restoration of your gifts now starting from this night starting from this night and you i will hear your testimony tomorrow in the name of Jesus Christ you dream very very detailed dream but you wake up you can't remember anything that is that is not correct because there are dreams you must establish if they are correct and from God and there are dreams you must cancel if they are from hell and they are destructive now if you can't you can't remember what you dreamt how do you establish the dream that must be established how do you cancel the dream that must be cancelled i take authority over that spirit of dementia in the realm of the spirit that forgetfulness of what you saw in the dream of the night i command it arrested and returned back to hell in the name of jesus you will see it and it will be clear in the name of jesus in the name of jesus somebody is on a painkiller right now in the course of this administration right now a painkiller right now i take authority let the sit out over that pain for which you are on that painkiller i declare the pain is over right now in the name of jesus you will testify and show us the drug that you are on with right now somebody has been healed of a right kidney condition i declare that right kidney is cleaned out in the name of Jesus, say to Lana Taranana Kakalayado Sata Moses Mekafito La Kofana Katakasa Kalata Frakata Kalata Freko Soto Palatafa Palata Frata Sota Parada Kalayada Masata Fata Palayada Metamphetamine. What drug is that? Is it a, a, a psychotic, antipsychotic? Metamphetamine. I'm trying to remember. Antipsychotic. A Moses by that by in a person by the name that's with a name like a Moses is on that drug right now. In the name that is above every name, I take authority. Let a pray to Sananiga Lagayatadasha. I declare that the yoke is broken. I declare that the yoke is broken. I declare that the chain is broken. I declare that the agenda of hell is broken. The devil loses his grip on your body, loses his grip on your mind, loses his grip on your system in the name of Jesus be healed now and behold somebody has been healed of sexually transmitted infection you've tried it has not been treatable I declare right now that yoke is broken that chain is broken first of all the Lord pardon you 
and grant you mercy and then grant you healing and grant you deliverance from that affliction so when it involves ulcers and sores in the genitals whether it is a syphilis i don't know what it is but it involves sores and ulcers right there that it, that is failing to be healed i declare it cleaned out i declare it cleared out right now in the name of jesus they call the person id is a short name like a, a full name with a liver disease i take authority over that liver disease right now i command it healed right now i command the liver return back to normal and everybody around the world that is having a major organ disease i declare your healing right now in the name of jesus somebody shout the lord and say amen Sule, Mr. Fuato Namina Galara Taniso Tolora, Jato La Tarata. Don't agree to be led astray. Don't agree to be led astray. Don't agree to be to be led to the house of a native doctor or to be or to look for alternative sources to God. Jacotapa is going to worsen your case. It's going to worsen your case. They are placing a demand on you to come and do things that are diabolical. It's going to worsen your case. And I'm speaking to somebody right now. They are they oh no, Master Tola Yada. What the devil is planning to make you do is going might cost you your wife and children. Yes. It appears harmless. It appears harmless. The devil wants to take, bring this and bring that. You have started already, but it has, you haven't seen any result. Your life is actually nose diving right now. God is giving you notice to make a U-turn so you don't finish your life. I started with a person by name Sule and then went into somebody else or probably the same person. Don't let no devil, the devil cannot help you. What God cannot give you, you don't need. Where God cannot take you, don't get there. What God cannot do, let it remain undone. But I prophesy to you today, as you make up your determination, the Bible said, when the Lord turn again the captivity of Zion, we are like them that dream. I see the turnaround of somebody's captivity right now. If you are that person, you will shout the loudest, amen. A turnaround of that captivity. I declare that lie of the devil broken name of Jesus. Somebody, a fraud happened in the place where you work and they are saying that they are trying to implicate you. Today, I declare the truth is out. The truth shall be out. The real person shall be caught. You shall be exonerated and shall be established and shall be, and shall be established and shall be elevated in the name of Jesus Christ. I just saw in the course of the prayer, somebody going to school with school uniform and school bag like a typical school girl it was actually a school girl I saw. But if you are a school boy also. Now, that is within the last few days, you saw yourself going to school with school uniform. The way you went to primary school many years ago, the way you went to secondary school many years ago, is the demon of backwardness. Every altar from your history, every altar of retrogression that is calling you back to retrogression. I declare the altar is set on fire. Every demonic altar that is trying to detain your life and detain your destiny is set on fire to confirm that your deliverance has happened. God will give you another revelation. This one is not, you are not going to see yourself backward. You are going to see yourself where you have always desired to be. You are going to see glories and, and, and yourself in the realm of those glories that will translate into physical manifestation in a matter of days. Shout the loudest, amen. An epileptic is being healed right now. Let us say to Frena Galayatana Gagalayadara who's honest. Let a fretter satellite. Whether it is the child of a joy or the name of a person is also joy. An epileptic is being delivered right now in the name of Jesus. The seizure disorder is arrested in the name of Jesus. That is which is tempering with your joy is arrested right now. And I speak to everybody. He said, what I say to one, I say to all. Every devil of epilepsy, seizure disorder that is tempering with your peace and your joy is arrested right now. God just answered somebody concerning the issue of the fruit of the womb. Oh Lord, why is it that everybody is testifying on this altar and I have not yet testified? You are already confirmed. Go and check yourself today. That occurred to you. Go check yourself. One of those I'm talking about has a, 
the jaw separation on the left lower jaw painful the pain is gone now and the pregnancy is confirmed in the name of Jesus return back with your testimony in the name of Jesus pelvic inflammatory disease discharge itchy condition low abdominal pain all combined together symptoms they die right now in the name of Jesus I don't know whether where you are will permit you to shout a loud amen but shout amen a louder amen lift your two hands together and catch fire from a bone has he sent fire into my bones this fire is going to kindle you passion this fire is going to become a fire of judgment in the camp of darkness this fire is going to burn the cancer in your body burn the hiv the sickle cell anemia the spirit of barrenness the spirit husband the spirit wife the spirit children the masquerade spirit the spirits of diversion is going to set them on fire lift your Hands when I say in the name of Jesus, one, two, three, you scream fire at the top of your voice and place a hand on yourself. Are you ready? In the name of Jesus, one, two, three, fire, 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 the fire from the tomb. Let the fire from the tomb. In Jesus' precious name, Amen. so shall it be. Amen. Next day we see you, which is tomorrow. We'll hear your testimony. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Everywhere you are watching from all around the world, in need of surrender to Jesus, place your hand on your chest and pray after me and say, Lord Jesus, pray the prayer and say, I am a sinner in need of your help. Come into my life and make me a new person. Today I have decided to follow you, Lord, and no turning back. Forward ever, backward never. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. So shall it be. Get us details and let us know you pray this prayer today. God bless you. Stretch your two hands in front of you and I prophesy upon your hands. Harvest shall look for you from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Tomorrow, all the way from the United Kingdom, we shall be trusting God for divine supernatural openings. Openings, supernatural supplies. We are trusting God for that. For a mantle of that in a drastic dimension. Because the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the seasons. True prosperity shall your cities be spread abroad. Ensure that you are connected life inform your friends and loved ones and all the people in the United Kingdom and Europe we are together, it's already not, it's already today, we are already in Thursday, so we'll see today, later today, in the evening of today, hallelujah somebody give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise we shall see in the evening of today God bless you, inform your friends inform your loved ones and inform 
all the people that you know. The moment we touch the ground, we shall hear our interview right from the ground to let you know we're there. God is on the throne. Somebody say a loud amen. Hallelujah. Um, details are still on the screen. Rush to still register and inform your friends and inform your loved ones. God bless you. Friday, we are still, we are back there. Friday morning, Friday night. Um, Saturday night, we are home to do the command of the midnight prayer from home. And Sunday morning, we will be an anointing service at home. God bless you in Jesus' precious name. Go on ahead and honor God with your substance. Uh, with, uh, the details are on the screen. And 20, 24, and above only, where is your place? And above only, God bless you. Celebrations. Lord, my heart is filled with a song.